in my heart, Adam, like I genuinely don't feel that way. Um, have I misspoke at times or have I been um, maybe so strong on a biblical standpoint that I, I forgot about someone's heart in the process 100% and I am sorry from the bottom of my heart for whenever I've done that. Good conversation to start our program today on Pastor's Perspective. And we have a call from Adam in Los Angeles, who uh, is listening to what we're talking about today and uh, would like to chime in. Go ahead, Adam. Thank you for calling us today on Pastor's Perspective. By the way, the number to call is 888-564-6173. Hi, Adam. Hi. Uh, First time calling. Uh, I've listened to you guys a lot. I really appreciate everything you guys do. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Oh, great. Thanks, Um, Adam. I was just... Yeah, I just wanted to kind of tag on to what y'all were saying. Um, I identified as gay for most of my life. I'm 42 now and would say at this point, I would still identify as same sex attracted, but I haven't acted on any of it for over four years now since Mm. finding Jesus. Mm. That's good. And Mm. I feel like with with this as well as you know questions about should i drink or not drink you know with weed being so controversial it's all kind of a cross that you have to bear while you explore your relationship with jesus and you come closer to him and let him tell Mm -hmm. you what what your path really is um Mm -hmm. i kind of liken it to i think maybe one of y'all said at one time about you don't go outside and clean yourself with a garden hose before you take a shower to get clean. You just go take a shower. Um, So you don't clean yourself before walking with him. You just walk with him and let him show you how to clean yourself. And until that day comes, Mm -hmm. why not bear the cross and just get closer to him for a while? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That, that's, Mm. That is, and and you know, like one of the things we're we're saying in the midst of this conversation we're having right now is that all of us are in a process, and all of us are struggling with various sins, and God is is working uh, in our lives, and um, and He's bringing us along. He's faithful to do that, and I think just hearing your brief brief story adam that that's awesome you know you've made a decision yeah. to do what jesus says to do and he's giving you the grace to do it and he's he's walking you uh, uh, along this journey and that's what he does he's faithful yeah bobby conway that's what i think too yeah adam thank you for sharing bud i really appreciate you calling and you know being vulnerable to share your story i i think that maybe you could speak to us and help me even as i wrestle as a man that's you know, this past week, I've, I, you know, I was getting hammered online uh, by people, uh, one person in particular saying, you know, that I hate gays and transgenders. And I thought, man, I, in my heart, Adam, like I genuinely don't feel that way. Um, have I misspoke at times or have I been um, maybe so strong on um, a biblical standpoint that I, I forgot about someone's heart in the process 100%. And I am sorry from the bottom of my heart for whenever I've done that. Uh, I too am just trying to grow, but that same passion comes out on other areas, be it people trying to say, oh, there's many ways to heaven or you can't trust the Bible. Uh, you know, I always have to make sure that I don't get too excited. I'm a passionate guy, but I, I'll say, um, I sometimes feel, Adam, that that what I'm being told is if I don't affirm, then I hate. And I just wanted to know, like, can you speak about that? Like, do you feel like we're being lacking in taste or do you feel love around other Christians that are straight and yet holding to the Bible? And what would you say to people that might make people feel like you either agree or you hate? And we've got about two minutes till the break, Adam, so go ahead. Okay, so quickly I would say, from a believer's perspective, you would say Jesus did eat and help with the prostitutes and the tax collectors and everyone, but he didn't partake in what they partook in. Yeah. Um, so, mm-hmm. so you can tell them what you believe and still be kind and loving towards them. And from someone mm. who, identi- who doesn't identify as a believer, 
I kind of believe if someone is talking to you about what it says in Scripture and you have a strong uh, opposition to that, you really kind of have to look at what spirit is leading you at that point. Is it the Holy Spirit or is it mm-hmm. another spirit that's angry and fighting and lashing out against the Holy Spirit and, and, and what really is in your life, you know? Mm. Mm, well said. Well said. Thank you for sharing that, Adam. Yeah. yeah, thank y'all. Yeah, thanks for calling. Great to chat with you. For sure.